If Rockstar follows the exact same pattern with Red Dead Redemption 2 and with GTA 5, we should be expecting some new GTA 6 details and information as well as screenshots and a second trailer coming up very shortly. So this takes a little bit of explaining because Rockstar have been sort of tiptoeing on when they first talked about Grand Theft Auto 6 for a couple of years now. Remember, they first gave us that announcement in February 2022 that they were working on the next installment in the Grand Theft Auto series. They doubled down on that a couple of months later when they said that Red Dead Online was going to stop receiving updates because they were going to prioritize Grand Theft Auto 6. And then on November 8th, 2023, they said in early December, we would be getting the next GTA trailer. On the first day of December, they gave us the date when that was going to occur. And then on December 5th, 2023, we officially got the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. So that's the date that I'm going to be using to sort of dive into the information we're talking about today because it has been 217 days since that trailer released. Now, you might be asking, why is that important? Well, with Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5, right around this same time period is when Rockstar gave us more details on both of those titles. So for GTA 5 on July 12th, 2012, 253 days after the first trailer, Rockstar Games gave us our first screenshots of Grand Theft Auto V. They also provided some information saying they would reveal more information soon. They would try to get us a trailer shortly. They talked about the game again, which was nice to hear. And you can see those screenshots right there of a helicopter flying over Los Santos and an early picture of Mirror Park. Then with Red Dead Redemption 2 on May 22nd, 2017, 214 days after the first trailer, we got our first screenshots of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, this also came along with the information that Red Dead Redemption 2 was going to be getting a delay and would now be coming out in fall of 2018 instead of fall 2017. So hopefully we don't receive that same information whenever Rockstar decides to talk to us next that the game has been pushed out of fall 2025. I think we've already had a delay in the game going from calendar year 2025 to fall 2025, so I don't anticipate there being any more delays. The only difference with GTA 5 to Red Dead Redemption 2 at that point in time Grand Theft Auto V had not received its delay. It was still slated for spring 2013, again, before it was moved to September 2013. So as you guys can see there, 253 days and 214 days. We are right in the middle of that right now. We're 217 days since that first trailer. And so if you just wanted to be a betting man, you would say that anytime between now and August 14th or roughly around that date, we can probably expect Rockstar Games to give us some more screenshots of GTA 6 and hopefully some more information to go along with that as well. And essentially, once Rockstar provides that first bit of information, the floodgates seemingly open and they start to give us more and more details. Again, this is what happened with Grand Theft Auto 5. We talked about how 253 days after the first trailer on July 12th, 2012, they gave us those screenshots, but things continued on August 20th 2012, they gave us more screenshots titled Transport. So it was like pictures of a supercar, the cheetah, a jet, and a person on a bike with text at the bottom saying more to come this week. And sure enough, two days later on August 22nd, 2012, they gave us more screenshots, leisure, dirt biking, playing tennis, parachuting. So they started to give us more and more details. And then two days later, more screenshots followed called Business which again gave us a handful of different little screenshots from the world of Los Santos. And Rockstar said, hope you enjoyed this week's 10 screenshot special from GTA 5. We'll be back with some more to see in a few weeks or so. And sure enough, a couple of weeks went by and Rockstar Games did an exclusive sort of interview and reveal with Game Informer on October 11th, 2012. A Game Informer article came out with a ton of details about the game and all the things we'd be able to do in GTA 5. So that continued the release information. Just a couple of days later on October 24th, 2012, they gave us new artwork of Grand Theft Auto 5. It's the pest control. And they also said lots of info coming next month. Get ready. That is so exciting to see. And then six days later, on October 30th, 2012, they announced that Grand Theft Auto V was going to be coming in spring 2013. Now, obviously, that release date didn't stick, but they did give us the ability to pre-order the game 
and they gave us more details as well as a new set of artwork. A couple of days later, on November 5th, 2012, they said that Grand Theft Auto V Trailer 2 would be coming next week on Wednesday, November 14th. On November 8th, 2012, they announced Grand Theft Auto V's cover story for Game Informer, and there was going to be a full 18-page story that would be available, giving tons of details about the title. On November 14th, 2012, Trailer 2 for GTA V ended up coming out. And then on December 24th, 2012, they ended up giving more screenshots saying, happy holidays, enjoy. And the reason we're only covering 2012 here is because we're talking about the year after Rockstar Games released the trailer. Again, for Grand Theft Auto V, it happened in 2011. And for Red Dead Redemption 2, it happened in 2016. And so since we're here in 2024, it really does feel like the dam is about to break. And once Rockstar gives us those first details, it really does feel like it's just a continuation of more and more and more coming out. And so if Rockstar Games is going to stick to that fall 2025 release date, I do anticipate that they will have sort of the same marketing timeline where in July to August, we'll see new screenshots and artwork with later on in the year being able to pre-order the game alongside of a second trailer. And hopefully in between those dates, we get more and more snippets. I know Rockstar has changed a lot over the last decade or so. But even with their last title, Red Dead Redemption, they did the same thing, releasing sort of bits and snippets, pictures of towns, weapons, our characters, the way the camp system was gonna work for Red Dead Redemption 2. Just these little details to keep us engaged and entertained as the wait for the game is on. To give you my own personal speculation on what I think will happen next, I think we're due for a handful of screenshots, probably a new artwork. The one that we got from the trailer release is the only one obviously that's out there. And that one feels so overused and old by now. And then I'd obviously love to hear from Rockstar themselves, sort of like going back to that old school asked and answered where they answer some of our questions, give us some details, maybe some things to look forward to in the future. And who knows, with the first GTA 6 trailer about to hit 200 million views, maybe that's sort of the milestone Rockstar is waiting for to sort of celebrate that occasion and to give us some more info. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. When do you feel like we're gonna hear from Rockstar next? And what do you think they're gonna give us? Is it gonna be screenshots, artwork, a new trailer, the ability to pre-order the game, or something else all the way around? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.